Great to see everyone here. I'm sorry that we're starting two minutes late. We wanted to make sure that we gave everyone time to get in. It's really great to see a full house tonight for a very particularly uh, interesting and exciting uh, uh, event for today. So you already see it. Get to know Matsue, the castle town and its tea culture. What's exciting about this is you don't have to listen to me talk about it. You can actually see it for yourself. Uh, welcome to tonight. I'm really excited to hear uh, from the mayor of Matsue, Akihito Uesada, who we just had a chance to meet. We just missed each other in terms of your service in New York before you went back, but I'm already excited to learn so much about a region that I have to confess I've not been to myself. When you come from Hokkaido, you go north. You don't go as much south, but I can't wait to visit, and the pictures that you, I've seen and, and what you've shown has been amazing. Uh, so I, I think in many ways, today is only the beginning. Uh, tomorrow there'll be a workshop, matcha and wagashi, Matsue's tea culture, and in many ways, based on the conversation I just had with the mayor, this is the beginning of a much larger conversation about the role of local Japanese culture and how it can be part of the global U.S.-Japan conversation. In many ways, uh, I want to thank our sponsors, obviously, Matsue City and the co-organizers for the Get to Know Japan series Matsue, and of course our Kikomon Corporation and our Food Talk series sponsors. So without further ado, let me turn it over to the, the featured speaker of tonight that we've all come to listen uh, to, uh, Mayor Akihito Uesada. Mayor Uesada, as I said already, has already been and is not a stranger to New York. You just left New York, so in many ways, welcome back. Uh, you served here uh, and held the role uh, as the head of DBJ, the Development Bank of Japan. Uh, I see the other DBJ uh, friends in the house as well, so it's good to see Fukumura-san too. Uh, and it was great to see that you went from here, uh, and you also had many important roles at Japan's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism, as well as the Development Bank of Japan, where he retired even though you look too young to retire uh, from that job, uh, to become the mayor, uh, elected mayor of Matsuya City in April 2021. And as mayor, as you'll see, this is not your typical mayor. Uh, I, I was a little embarrassed that I was overdressed uh, to meet the mayor uh, because I thought meeting a mayor I should wear a tie, but I should have worn a cool t-shirt like he has on today to spread the charm of Matsue uh, around the world and to make the city a true global destination, particularly when I think about the role that Japan has in a world that is constantly searching uh, for culture and meaning. I can't think of a more appropriate conversation than uh, with Mayor Uesada-san tonight. So please, Mayor Uesada, let me invite you to the stage and to hear from you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm wearing t-shirts. <laughs> I'm not so sure I'm a typical type of mayor or not, but uh, I'm very glad to be here. I'm coming back to New York. Yeah, I spent two years in New York, but uh, um, um, th this was the time in the pandemic, actually. <laughs> so I couldn't make them uh, what I would like to do, <laughs> actually. And uh, this, um, actually, I, um, it's a very honor to have uh, you uh, to, to be here. And uh, I can uh, make some presentation about my hometown, Masai City. And, uh, I like to you know about uh, much more about the Masai City, and uh, if you have the interest in uh, my hometown, I like to you to visit, of course. And uh, uh, today uh, we have uh, so many uh, uh, attractions after my presentation. So please enjoy this evening. So uh, at first, uh, I like to. Um, uh, make you the see the uh, some uh, videos. <laughs> Matsue Castle, National Treasure of Japan. And uh, actually, there are so many wonderful sites in Matsue. Matsue City has so many fantastic locations. The city is called City of Water. It is surrounded by the sea and the river and the two lakes. And I will show you from now. 
This is a sunset of a lake, Shinji. And next, I must introduce the symbol of a Matsue city, Matsue castle, which even now retained the appearance of the time it was built. In Japan, there are only five castles still remained as their original one and are designated as the national treasure. Matsue castle is one of them. And I'd like to point out the Japanese tea, matcha, and Japanese confectionery culture fostered in the castle town. I will show you in detail, but firstly, I explain the location and the access to Matsue. Matsue has a population of around 200,000. It's a not so big city, and the location is the western part of Japan, and the north of the Hiroshima. And for access, uh, it takes um, less than two hours from uh, Tokyo, Haneda Airport. So uh, we have uh, two airports, nearest airport around uh, our city. So you are, uh, it's uh, very convenient for you to access uh, our city. The, uh, um, so let's get right down to the point. Uh, our city, Matsue, has a couple of things worthy of being admired by the world. The first thing is that Matsue has an authentic Japan with its rich, rich history, culture, and national beauty. According to Japan's oldest history book, which compiled 1,300 years ago, this area is described as a center of politics and the economy in Japan at the time. So when you walk around in Matsue, you can easily find out the historical sites, ancient tombs, and the shrine even now. In fact, Matsue is one of three cities in Japan designated as an international city of culture and tourism, which is defined by the law in Japan. The remains are Kyoto and Nara. I strongly recommend it recommend to visit Matsue if you like to feel in authentic Japan. Then the second major point is that Matsue is a city where leads in technological advancement. Our city is well known as a birthplace of a famous programming language Ruby. Ruby is developed by Dr. Yukihiro Matsumoto, who is living in Matsue and a honorary citizen in Matsue. Ruby was used for the application services well known for us, such as Shopify and Airbnb. It has been popular among startups particularly because it is easy to handle and flexible for structuring the computer program. Software engineers from all over the world gather in Matsue every year for the Ruby World Conference. Currently, there are thousands of programming languages, but Ruby is a very popular choice. It has become one of the top 10 most used programming language in the world. We are also focusing on the training the young engineers for the further development of Ruby. On a different topic, are you all familiar with this flower? You know? Oh, yes, it's a peony. Matsue City is the largest producer of peonies in Japan. On Daikonshima Island in Yatsukacho, there is a Japanese garden famous for its peonies. This picture shows the ponds in the garden are completely filled with the peony flowers. Peony normally only bloom during spring between April to, uh, to, uh, and May. However, Matsue City developed a special patented method allowing these flowers to bloom and the people from all over the world can enjoy the peonies at any time of the year. Do you know which well, we can see these pe Japanese peonies in New York City? The answer is yes. Actually, this is Brooklyn Botanic Garden. 
This has been brought by us, Matsue City. Just after the 9-11 tragedy, Matsue City sent the beautiful peony to New York for encouraging people in New York. The peony collections are shown at uh, Brooklyn Botanic Garden and in the Rockefeller State Park. The peonies there are also originally donated by Matsue City. As you have seen, a place of rich history, culture, nat natural beauty, and cutting-edge advancements enjoyed by the world. This is Matsue City. Now, I'd like to shift to one of today's main topics, the symbol of our beloved city, Matsue Castle. Matsue Castle, with its 400-year history, stands in the very center of Matsue City. At this point, I want to show you, everyone, a video. It takes around six minutes on the original of Matsue and Matsue Castle. Tenkawa徳川家の天下統一に貢献したこの堀尾親子の功績に答え出雲沖の両国二十四万石を与えた徳川方が勝利したとはいえ大阪城の豊臣秀頼に次く大名も多く戦への備えが急がれた二人はまず戦国時代
いよいよ城の姿が現れ始める。そして着工から4年目天守閣が完成した松江城の天守は高さ3 0メートルの五層六階で古い様式を持ち実践を強く意識して建造された5年目の慶長16年6月完成を間近にして義治は69歳でこの世を去った城下町が完成したのはそのわずか半年後のことである城下町は内堀外堀と大橋川に囲まれ武家町町人町寺町に分けられていたさらに戦術上見通しが利かないように定時路筋貝橋神河太郎が設けられていた。大阪の陣を控えいつ戦が起こってもおかしくない時期に実戦を意識して作られた計画都市松江その町割を舞台に400年の歴史と文化は今も人々の暮らしの中に息づいている。This is the story of Matsue Castle to be built and the Matsue City to be designed. Let's go back to the present day. Actually, surrounding Matsue Castle is water filled moat that has remained the same since the castle was constructed 400 years ago. It's very popular among sightseers to enjoy. Matsue's historic atmosphere by taking a boat ride on a Horikawa sightseeing boat. During this boat ride, you must pass under the various types of bridges. So, because some of the bridges are very low, the boat's roof will be lowered in order to pass. Accordingly, you have to bend over in passing under the bridge. It is very, very popular as an adventurous part of this Horikawa boat ride. And、uh, in the、uh, winter season,、uh, you can take the potatsu heater so you can enjoy it. In addition to that, Matsue City and the citizens respect its local history and culture. The long standing traditions of our castle town continue to live on even now. Based on the good nature environment, the rich history and culture background of this area, the people of Matsue are friendly and very hospitable. For example, this Horan in year is a big festival. This is happened, this is held once a、uh, 10 years. Next one will be held in 2029, so you should be targeting. Among these traditions, next important topic is tea culture in Matsue. The tea culture is deeply rooted in the lives of the residents in Matsue. The reason the tea culture and matcha h a s become common in Matsue it was thanks to Fumai Matsudaira, a lord of Matsue Castle during the Edo period. The lord Fumai Loved tea and spread the tea culture among citizens. So, drinking matcha became commonplace. Matcha is prepared by mixing powder tea leaves and hot water with chasen.、Uh, you can see the left hand side, this is called chasen mixing tool. You enjoy matcha's lovely aroma, and the taste makes us calm and brings. 
good health and beauty. After my presentation, uh, we will have Yumi Harada, an associate instructor of SADO, the formal way of tea. She will give us a demonstration. In addition to those formal SADO, in Matsue, tea culture and matcha is widely available for anyone to enjoy. These are some of Matsue's kindergarten students experience, experiencing matcha firsthand. It is not uncommon in Matsue for Sado to be used in preschool and primary school curriculums. Sado is also popular as a choice for voluntary club activity among middle school students in Matsue. Actually, um, in my childhood, actually there are uh, two um, time of uh, tea, so uh, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So my mother makes uh, this matcha, and uh, we, we could enjoy it. Uh, here, you can see a woman serving matcha to a guest in a casual and relaxed way. We can enjoy matcha at home and uh, work, work, workplace it is also provided as sightseeing facilities, restaurants, and cafes. It is, it is a large part of life in Matsue. And what does best with matcha is wagashi, Japanese confectionaries. In Matsue, wagashi has also developed along with spread of tea culture. We enjoy wagashi not only for its taste, but also for its beautiful artistic appearance. Its lineup of wagashi changes with seasons. Matsue is regarded as one of the three major wagashi cities of Japan, along with Kyoto and Kanazawa. We have lots of wagashi, specialty stores, and many varieties of wagashi has been created in Matsue. Our city's wagashi culture and industry are supported by the wagashi creators. You can see the wisteria flowers here on the screen, which is a crafted confectionery made entirely of Japanese sweets. Uh, you can eat. <laughs> yes. So this was made by Mr. Mitsuhiro Otsu-san. Please stand up. <laughs> he, he made it. Amazing. It's a very uh, amazing. So Mr. Oz will give us demonstration of his craft later. There are many other charming aspects of Matsue aside from Matsue Kasu, tea culture, and Wagashi. Matsue has a famous hot springs with over 1,300 years of history. We also have many hot spring inns in the city. The spring water in Matsue is very good for the skin. So, my skin is also good. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being 50 years old. <laughs> we have the town called Mihonoseki is located facing the Sea of Japan. It is a famous old port town and fishing village. In this town, you had better visit Miho Shrine, famous for being the main shrine of Ebis, a Japanese god of water, business, and fortune. Mythological rituals, such as Morotabune Shinji, still remains. Just next to Miho Shrine is Aoishi Datami Street, which has retained a traditional Japanese fishing village. And Miho no Seki Lighthouse has been selected as one of the 100 most historic lighthou lighthouses in the world for its historical and cultural value. Matsue is proactive about protecting and pr preserving its nature beauty. So in a good environment, you can enjoy all sorts of outdoor activities like boating, sea kayaking, 
thunder bad boat and snorkeling in Matsue. This is a view of same fishing. You can catch horse mackerel, octopus, and gizzard shed here. This is Sada Shinno, a traditional dance art performance registered as a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage to pass down to future generations the traditional dance, traditional dance that has continued for 400 years. Children's Sada Shinno is also performed for that purpose now. And this one, the Sui Go Festival is fireworks displayed that is a summer tradition from 1929. We will have this festival next month, so I suggest you visit <laughs> this place. Being a land surrounded by rich nature, Matsue has an abundance of delicious cuisine. You must enjoy all of these. As you have seen today, Matsue is an area with many attractions. They are hospitable culture, rich history, and natural beauty. I believe that Matsue is the only place where you can enjoy all high quality and refined Lastly, I have one thing that I want to have your kind support. Please see the short movie. Wanted. We are looking for all the photos of Matsui Castle's main gate. They know that to recreate it. The reward for valuable information is 5 million yen. Hello, my name is Akihito Uesada. I'm the mayor of Matsui City. Matsui Castle is a Japanese castle built by samurai more than 400 years ago and even today it is a famous site of Matsue loved by its citizens. I also love this castle. However, there is one disappointing thing related to the castle and that is the loss of its main gate, Otemon. This is a place where Otemon used to be. It was lost about 150 years ago when Japanese society began to modernize and reform itself. We have spent a long time searching for old photos of Otemon in Japan, but so far nothing has been found. If you have any old photos related to Otemon, the main gate of Matsue Castle. Please fill out the application form to let us know. Thank you for your time. The reward is still available. <laughs> I'm looking forward, looking forward to your contact. <laughs> that is all of my presentation. With that being said, our citizens are looking forward to giving you a warm welcome. Please come to Matsue City in the very near future. Thank you very much for your time this evening. As Merit Uesada just mentioned, my name is Nicholas McCullough. I am a native of California, and I'm a coordinator for international relations working at Matsue City Hall. Uh, coordinator for interna international relations is CIR for short, and simply put, I work as a cultural liaison, and in my case, my work often includes me introducing American culture to Matsue's residents, or just like this evening, sharing the culture and traditions of Matsue with English speaking audiences. In just a moment, we will be given a demonstration of the tea ceremony. But before this, I will briefly share some relevant cultural context from today's tea ceremony host. Now, Ichigo Ichie is a Japanese expression that is often used when speaking about the tea ceremony. It means that the relationships with the people gathered for an occasion and the moments that these people will share cannot be replicated and as such are irreplaceable. The host of the ceremony puts their heart into preparing tea for the guest and the guest expresses their appreciation 
by enjoying the tea under the best timing and with their best conduct. And as guests, we will forget about the passage of time, listen to the kettle, enjoy the aroma of the tea, and take notice of the various utensils, as well as enjoy our tea with wagashi. And today, Mrs. Harada, an associate instructor of the Urasenke School's Japanese tea ceremony, will be giving the demonstration. And with that being said, let's go ahead and commence the demonstration. Harada-san, onegaishimasu. どうぞお菓子を。
願いいたしますhave a wagashi demonstration from Mr. Otsu, both the head confectioner at Sayundo and a pillar in Matsue's wagashi industry. Hello, everyone. Eh, sasoku, eh, skoshake, Matsue no wagashi no, eh, to, sesume o skoshi sase de itadakimasu. First, I'd like to begin with a simple explanation of the wagashi or confections of Matsue. Eh, Matsue no Matsue はですね、えっと先ほども市長の方から説明がありました通り、えっと京都、金沢と並んで日本三大菓子どころとして有名です。So as you heard briefly earlier, along with Kyoto and Kanazawa. Matsue is known as one of the three great、uh, confectionery cities of Japan. Matsue no kashi wa keshite yosoi ki no mono de o n a k m a i n c h no kashi toshite nichi jo de tanoshimae te iru mono des. But in Matsue, these wagashi or traditional confections are not 
just used or eaten for a special occasion. They're eaten as an everyday daily life thing. え、毎日お貸しとして、え、日常で楽しまれているものです。あ、ソーリー。フード。え、ここでは、え、ゆったりのんびりとお茶を楽しむ時間が大切とされています。え、松江、it <笑> 歴史、文化を、え、文化の気配を楽しみいただけたら幸いです。それでは1品目作っていきたいと思います。So え、1品目はえっと、オーカ。It's known we call it Oka. So Oka is actually え、市民だけでなく観光客の皆さんにも愛されている花の一つです。even though there are numerous spots that are known for the cherry blossoms within the city of Matsue, as you heard from the mayor earlier, one of the most well-known is the national treasure, Matsue Castle. Matsue城と満開の桜をバックに写真を撮影したり、お花見を楽しみます。So people from both Matsue and the outside Matsue in the spring enjoy taking pictures of uh, with the Matsue castle and the full blooming trees in the background or enjoying a light meal and drinks underneath the cherry blossoms. So I am going to produce a oka for you now.
オーガです。And this is your tail, your blossom. えー、続きまして二品目。So next, the second confection. え二、ー、品目はですね、白鳥を作っていきたいと思います。It's called 白鳥 or swan. えー、松江市には、えー、大きな湖、新宿があります。As you heard earlier, there is a very large lake in 松江 city known as Lake Shinji. 松江が水の都と呼ばれるえー、とゆえんは。この新宿でもあります。そして新宿の湯気は、に沈む夕日は、空を茜色に染め、夕日が湖に反射する神秘的な景色を堪能できます。And it's especially a beautiful view when the sun sets and almost looks like it's sinking into the lake. And Also, there's a mystical、uh, view where the setting sun is reflected in the waters of the lake. 本日2品目は、えー、白鳥です。白鳥、so, uh, 白鳥はですね、えー、新宿のシンボルでもあります。So, the second confection that I'm about to make for you, 白鳥 or swan, is because the swan is a symbol of Lake Shinji. そんな新時あの白鳥は、えー、秋から冬になると越冬のために多く飛来し、えー、と綺麗な姿を見せてくれます。Winter, では白鳥の方を作っていきます。So now I will demonstrate the making of the swan. です And here you have the swan. Thank you. え本日は以上となります。で、次の会場で、えっと、自分はあのまだお菓子作ってますので、ぜひ足を止めてご覧いただけたら幸いです。So this is it for This part of tonight's program, but in the following reception, I'll be making another confection. So please do try to stop by and watch that.、Um, it's a different confection, so please do、um, stop by to watch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the wonderful、um, demonstration, Mr. Otsu. And with that, This will conclude the seminar portion of today's program. So at this time, I don't see Mrs. Harada right now, but at this time, I would like to take the time to give one more round of applause to the mayor of Matsue as well as the demonstrators from this evening. In just a minute, we will be moving to the first floor for this evening's reception.、Uh, for this occasion, 
we have brought products from Matsue, including wagashi, tea, sake, basket clam miso soup, and more. So we are looking forward to sharing with everyone some of what Matsue has to offer. Once, once again, thank you very much, and we are looking forward to mingling with you in just a minute. <laughs> 